Oh, 378, 379, you don't block me in, you block that safety. The okay. pipe was blocking me in there. Brent Duhon's first touchdown catch as a Texas Longhorn is one he will long remember. For Brent, it is an evening of special joy. For the fans, it is another thrilling play. For Texas, an evening of triumph. Another win in a long line of victories that makes Longhorn football so special. Longhorn football soared to new heights of glory in 1983, a year that saw the University of Texas celebrate its 100th birthday. The Longhorns celebrated their centennial in appropriate fashion with an undefeated regular season, a Southwest Conference Championship, and a trip to the Cotton Bowl. of pride and achievement for the University of Texas. An unblemished, hard-fought regular season for the Longhorns. The celebration of 1983 will live forever in the hearts of the Texas faithful as a century of excellence, a season of perfection. and constant repetition. The brilliant strategy and dazzling execution of Saturday triumphs start here under the watchful eye of head coach Fred Akers. All right, right return. Right return. Akers' achievements at Texas have been impressive for a school that thrives on excellence. Percentage-wise, he is the winningest coach in Southwest Conference history. Each year, he has taken the Longhorns to a postseason bowl. In six years, he has sent 25 players to the professional ranks. 17 Longhorn players have achieved All-American status during Akers' tenure, including 1983 winners Doug Dawson, Jerry Gray, Mossy Cade, and Jeff Lighty. 89! Put, put! This success has been achieved without sacrificing academic standards or turning the program into a win-at-all-cost, mindless football machine. Akers has assembled an experienced and efficient coaching staff. They go about their work in a professional manner. They know that the Longhorn schedule demands superior performance in every facet of the game. We play top teams from all over the country. We don't believe in a patsy schedule. Uh, we want to get toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best in the country. And we go to a lot of exciting places when we, when we travel. You know, players that come here in the next four years are going to go to New York. They're going to go to California. They're going to go possibly to Hawaii. Uh, but more than anything, we're going to face other top teams in the country. All right, all right, yeah! All right, good piece of work. Pretty good outfit. A positive philosophy is the foundation of Akers' coaching style. A belief that players should be motivated rather than intimidated. I think Coach Akers is a great motivator. He's real high on positive thinking. Uh, 
He stresses that a lot. He stresses a lot of mental aspect of the game as well as physical. He builds you up, but then he makes sure your head doesn't get too big. You're running almost straight up the middle. Okay. Go ahead and hit over here. Right. Hit outside your guard over that part. Okay. Is that coming in from the weak side? The lock. Okay. That's the guy that hit you. Yeah. Like all great coaches, Fred Akers is ultimately a teacher, yeah, and his players have found that his instruction oh, yeah, is not time. confined to gridiron strategy. Let's go now. We got 405. Let's get a double here now. Ready? A different kind of tutoring takes place in the weight room. Come on, one more. Come on, Gene. The strength program at Texas is one of the finest in the nation. It is a sophisticated regimen of muscle development and conditioning that goes beyond just building bulging biceps. Strong, look strong, sir. Not only does it, it make you bigger and stronger, it makes you more flexible. And the more flexible you are, the less likely you are to be injured. The healthiest team is going to be the team that wins. In my opinion, the healthiest team is the one that, that has the best strength program. And we don't feel we have to take a back seat to anyone. In fact, we think we've got one of the premier strength programs and one of the premier strength staffs in this entire country. What we're working on here now is speed, reaction, timing, explosiveness, coming off the ball. Now, I'll spot you coming back. Strength coach Dana LeDuc develops individual training programs to suit the unique requirements of each position. That, the explosive now. The strength program is a means of building confidence and preparedness. Fullback Terry Orr and his teammates know they will be strong from the opening coin toss to the final gun. We go into a game expecting to play a whole game. We don't want to come and just play one quarter or two quarters. We want to play a whole game. We want to be as strong as we can at the end of the fourth quarter as we are at the end of the first quarter. All right, defense, here's your chance. Let's pick one up. A hard-nosed, aggressive defense was the trademark of the 83 squad. Texas led the nation in total defense at the end of the regular season, and it was easy to see why. Longhorn defenders attacked offenses with relentless determination, undaunted by fancy moves or trick plays. Our defense is not the, the kind that is going to bend and not break, contain and give up grudgingly. Ours is an attacking defense. It's a forcing defense. It's an active defense. It's the kind of defense that calls on the techniques that it takes to play pro ball. It's an exciting defense. It's fun to play. But it was no fun for the Tigers of Auburn. The high-flying offense of the nationally ranked Tigers never got off the ground stopped cold by the tenacious Longhorn defenders in their debut performance of 1983. The Texas offense struck early, building a lead that Auburn would never challenge. of a perfect season had taken root as most of the nation watched the Longhorns record their first triumph of 83 in typical Texas fashion. In Texas, it seems like there's always been a concept to play as a team and not as yourself. You, you are individuals, but it's a team sport, and therefore you have to come together as a team and play as a team to win. Athletic tradition at the University of Texas and the, and the excellence in each of their sports is second to none. And in football, I, you know, I was looking forward to playing in the big games every year. One of the biggest games of every year is the annual war with Oklahoma, an intense struggle that has become one of the classic rivalries of college football. More than 75,000 fans watch the Texas defense continue its dominant play, stopping the vaunted Sooner rushing attack for a loss time after time.
A diving fingertip grab by Mike Luck inspired the Longhorn offense, and they exploded with a 21-point third quarter to seal the Sooners' fate. Texas had defeated its second nationally ranked foe, and people were beginning to sense something special about the 83 squad. The possibility of a championship team had the Texas fans in an uproar. It was the ability to fight back, to come from behind, the will to reach down inside themselves for that special something that defines a champion. At Texas, that strength comes from the strong sense of tradition, that intense pride and desire that makes Longhorn football so unique. Ours is a very rich tradition, and we call on it every ball game because I'll tell you now, you have to play for something other than yourself at times when your back is to the wall. And more times than not, those of us that have the rich traditions are the ones that succeed in those, in those times. Texas would face one of those times in the closing minutes of the SMU game. After four quarters of a bruising defensive duel, the Mustangs were attempting a two-point conversion to take the lead. Pride, bragging rights, and an unbeaten record were on the line. The Texas defenders knew what they had to do. The defense had met the challenge. A national television audience had watched Texas defeat another nationally ranked power and one of its toughest foes in the Southwest Conference, forging yet another link in its chain of triumph. The final link would come a few weeks later at Texas A&M, and this time the entire nation would watch the Longhorn offense face its moment of truth. Held scoreless for nearly the entire first half, the Texas offense finally erupted with a vengeance. A stunned Aggie crowd stared in silent disbelief as the horns exploded for 45 unanswered points in less than 15 minutes. A perfect regular season, a Southwest Conference championship, a number two ranking in the polls, and an invitation to play Georgia in the Cotton Bowl. What better gift for a centennial celebration? And what better way to attract the kind of athlete that has always made Texas the winning school that it is? We want the type of individual that sees the excitement in shooting for the top being recognized as one of the best around because you know we feel here at the university of texas that every year we're going to have a chance now whether we realize it or not we're going to have a chance to be a national champion we know that we're going to play in front of millions on television we know that we're going to be in bowl games and we want the type of person that has looked forward to that and has seen himself being in that situation all his life To don the burnt orange and white of Texas is to experience everything that college football has to offer. To play for Texas is to understand the true meaning of pride and excellence.